Hi, this is a video response to Marco's video, uh, Marco from the Multiversal Topico channel. In that video, he talks about RPG withdrawal, and I'm going to put a link in the description below to that video. I recommend that you watch it. And that video, basically, Marco explains how he has been quite busy in his life and uh, he doesn't have uh, too much time to dedicate it to the RPG hobby. That is, um, he had a bit of a, I would you say, setback uh, of not being able to play uh, with his group, or uh, sometimes he doesn't even have enough time to, to read uh, too many RPG books. He also mentioned that uh, same old G also had um, a bit of trouble uh, keeping that link or connection with the RPG hobby, that is uh, reading RPG books, playing, etc. And I think this video mm, uh, serves as a platform to further explore this side of the hobby or that absence of the hobby, to put it in a better way. And it got me think, thinking about uh, many different things and also about uh, the producing YouTube content because uh, Mark also talked about he, he uh, didn't have the time uh, lately to produce uh, too many videos, although uh, some material is coming uh, uh, to my understanding. And so I, I can only ex um, talk about uh, my experience and the experience of others that I've uh, talked with uh, when it comes to these... Um, losing contact or getting out of touch with RPGs and with producing uh, video content. Well, first of all, I think I will approach the side of producing videos uh, here on YouTube or any other place because um, I think uh, there could be some misconceptions by the part of different people as to uh, or differences as to how often you should produce content. Because, for example, I, I still consider the uh, Multiversal Topico channel up and running and very much alive, to put it in a way, because uh, Marco said how he wanted to revive the channel, but I never saw it like uh, the, his channel died or something, because uh, here on YouTube, there are many producers that uh, sometimes uh, enter this state of, uh, what would you say, uh, a hiatus, or they stop producing videos for some months or perhaps even a year or more and then they bring out new content and the channel keeps going um, it's all up to the person and I'm not one to um, unsubscribe uh, from other channels when they stop producing videos it's um, the same to me and, and I get uh, surprised when someone sometimes I didn't visit the channel too often because um, said person started stopped producing videos but then they start producing videos again and I, and I get surprised and I see that they still put their all or their effort into producing that content. And so I think there is not like a, a measure, unless you're talking about making your YouTube channel a, a very strict business, then I think that, that only then you, you will have to consider uh, bringing out a, a steady stream of videos uh, to keep uh, your viewers entertained and, and, and if you promise uh, content uh, you have to keep your promise otherwise you will start to lose credibility as a producer but for us that uh, handle things somewhat casually I don't think that's mm, that isn't too much of an issue so um, I think you could uh, produce uh, perhaps a video a week or a month or whatever and, and uh, you still don't need to feel too worried about that as long as your videos uh, are good and not technically speaking but in the point or the fact that you uh, put your all or your uh, put a lot of heart into it and, and your mind as well in, into communicating what you wish to communicate then uh, your videos are okay no matter the frequency or, or, or the um, how often you you upload videos now let's talk about the uh, withdrawal of role-playing games I think many of us uh, have uh, perhaps a moment or different moments in our lives uh, that sometimes we cannot play as much as we want to mm, and i'm not been here for long i'm, I'm still in my in my 30s but uh, throughout my life i've had some what would you say dry seasons 
where I couldn't find players to play uh, role-playing games. But even though uh, those moments happened, I still try to keep my connection with role-playing games, either by um, reading different RPG books or uh, playing uh, solo. Although I did get a bit later on into the solo side of things, I didn't... Um, in my teenage years, I didn't play solitaire role-playing games on probably around my 20s when I started to explore the possibility. And that served quite a bit when I didn't have a, a group or players at the moment. And later on, when I had players, I could use all of those adventures that I created as a solitaire experience in those games. Because any solo adventure that you experience can be structured into a multiplayer experience when you do get players so I think it's always important to make a bit of time every day for that side of your hobby. And I, although I think things become slightly more complicated when you like other forms of entertainment, because maybe you uh, play war games or maybe you play video games and then you also have to um, take advantage of every moment, uh, every short time throughout the day to dedicate it to your hobby and it's not easy but i think the most difficult part is just to um <laughs> to put it in in saturday morning cartoons ling uh, lingo uh, explode into action that is if you're so uh, suddenly like wasting time and uh, you want uh, take advantage of that 15 or 30 minutes that you would spend doing nothing and do something because with work and with responsibilities and, and duties and with your relationships with other people, you really have to uh, take advantage of those uh, moments to do what you want to do when it comes to gaming. So as I was telling you, if you suddenly find yourself like doing nothing, just as, uh, if you want to paint a miniature, if you want to uh, read uh, an RPG book, if you want to do anything related to something fun or related to gaming, just do it right away. Don't, don't even wait to, to catch your breath or whatever, just do it. And it surprises me that a lot of people just waste too much time. I think we are all prone to that instead of uh, spending it in, uh, in something fun. Because most of the time we have to deal with uh, some serious things. Uh, literally you could say that our survivability depends on uh, doing what we have to do so all of those little uh, what would you say time time segments or moments between those activities you have to take advantage of those there will be plenty of time to rest uh, when you uh, before going to bed or whatever everybody has uh, his or her own way of doing things i'm just uh, giving you what i would consider tips in my experience so it's important to take advantage of those of that uh, wasted time. Uh, Mark also, also mentioned in a comment in that video that uh, he is um, somewhat surprised uh, as to how I, I managed to do reviews. Because as, as you know, I, I delve into different uh, RPG systems. Mm, well, and, and this reminds me a bit of um, Bart Bickerness about one or two years ago asked me somewhat the same thing he also said uh, he didn't know how, how i managed to read all of that because the rpgs are not the only things that i <laughs> that i read uh, not only not in entertainment and not in uh, not professionally so i think that well in the case of marco because we both live in a city uh, he lives in brazil i live in mexico so uh, maybe the situation is somewhat similar in some aspects I think uh, it's due to the fact that I read a lot. The more than you, that you read, the faster that, that, that you read books, that is, you, you go through them, you spit through them amazingly so at times because of practice. Sometimes um, I pause and I start uh, uh, noticing that I already went through dozens of pages and I didn't even, almost didn't notice it. And it, I think it's all practice. But many role-playing games sometimes look a bit like each other. So, for example, it's quite easy for me uh, to understand how an old-school Renaissance or D20-based system works when compared to another. So sometimes uh, I just uh, go through it, and when I have the chance, I, I play a one-shot of set game or uh, organize a, a solitary game if there aren't people available at that moment. 
or sometimes you just understand the workings of the system if you compare for example Lamentations and Flame Princess with Labyrinth Lord you almost understand immediately the differences uh, and the similarities between those systems so I think that's all, that also facilitates uh, my ability to go through all those systems. And in the case of, of Vark's question, back then I didn't put too much thought into it. I, I, well, I told him that I uh, sometimes read whenever I have the chance uh, to do so. But I also think that when comparing both of our lifestyles, uh, Varg has to... Uh, chop his own firewood, uh, plant his own... Uh, fruits and vegetables he also needs I, I don't know if he's still doing it but I, I believe that he also hunts so all of that takes quite a bit of time from your lifestyle so I also think it's important for you to have uh, a nice um, community or uh, have a decent in, in, in my case uh, um, a decent community within the city that covers all of that that is um, plumbing and um, uh, and anything related to food, any sort of service, any sort of security. If you, as long as you have like a working system and people who actually do their jobs, then you, you do uh, have a bit more time. Because imagine if you have to to hunt your food every day and, and to plant and, and to keep. Um, as I was telling, if you don't have like a heating system and sorts, uh, you, you really spend more time on that. So um, it's all about uh, time organization, in my opinion. And even right now, I'm, I'm actually thinking, ah, this uh, time that I'm making this video is going to take, take quite a bit. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out uh, when to do uh, martial arts practice today. And I want to, to do a review of a really cool and complex game. It's not exactly RPG related, although it has some RPG aspects and there is a role playing game concerning that game, although I have uh, some criticisms about the RPGs uh, for that game, and I will cover, try to cover a bit of that when I review it. And so it's all about, as I was telling you, when you see that moment that, oh, I don't have to be working or, on this or that, or I don't have to go to the store, or I don't have to do this, and, and, and just seizing the moment that, and you say, this is the moment that I have to paint, this is the moment that I have to uh, uh, play and, and when it comes to, to uh, playing with others that's really important and uh, you really have to match your uh, schedule with the schedule of others and this becomes vital when uh, others are really really busy so for example normally I I'm against uh, always making sacrifices for a particular member of the role-playing group it's okay if somebody says like oh guys I cannot make it uh, this time let's cancel and let's play some other time uh, that's okay but if that person keeps on doing it that that person is asking for all the others to sacrifice their own uh, schedules and uh, work and, and whatever for that person's um, comfort or, or, but I do think for example there could be some special cases when if you are playing with a doctor or uh, with a, someone in the military they, well th those people sometimes get called uh, there maybe it's an emergency or something uh, and you uh, it would be better in those cases if you actually try to adjust the schedule of the of the group around that particular person's schedule because of their busy lifestyle because sometimes those people as i was telling you maybe they they're kind of adjust things to play with the group and a certain time and a day but they get, get called because of an emergency so in those cases, um, I think you really have to mm, take that into consideration when scheduling uh, playing with someone. That's also what I enjoy when you have smaller groups because, we, we, for example, if you have like um, six players, uh, it's quite difficult. All of those six people need to mm, match their schedules uh, for the gaming session. But when you have three or max four players, it's a bit more feasible or doable so um, I hope this video serves a bit like um, mm, encouragement for other uh, players to keep on gaming whatever they play RPGs war games uh, take every, every any chance uh, throughout your day to, to engage a bit into that aspect of the hobby if possible mm, always uh, pay attention or, and work or work on a good schedule or plan to play with others um, 
and, and as I was saying, producing content, just uh, don't feel rushed or pressured into producing content all the time. I know that there are some YouTubers that produce a lot of good videos all the time, all the time, and uh, that's great. But uh, there are also other YouTubers that uh, keep producing videos, videos and videos and, and their content, uh, well, it's either really boring or it feels like they're just producing um, almost like uh, compulsively. So, uh, and, and I'm not talking about only game related videos, I'm talking about any type of YouTube channel. So as I was say, saying, don't feel pressure, just uh, produce the videos that you want to produce. Uh, as long as uh, you are comfortable or that you like the result, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, take things at your own pace. Uh, I don't know if maybe later on today or tomorrow I will uh, produce that um, game review that I was talking about, hopefully. So, well, uh, thanks for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions or, or maybe you have some other tips on how to organize your time to play role-playing games or you have some ex interesting experiences as to how you enjoy the RPG hobby or war games or video games and how you find the time to do all of that, uh, well, um, uh, write it down in the comments or produce a video response. So once again, thank you for watching this video. See you later.